Hey, everybody. Guess who's back? It's me. It's just me. It's sweet. Still here. I hope you're doing okay and staying safe and healthy. Still missing you. Still loving you. Today, we're going to look at um, the DCPS week five packet for ELA. So week five, day one. So dig through to the middle of your packet past all the work you've already done for week four and look for this page that says distance learning plan grade two week five. Make sure you see that five. And then get to the page that has a map of North America and it says elementary ELA and at the bottom it says week five. Always looking for that week five. So our phonics work for this week is going to be a review of two important vowel teams. We're going to be looking at O-A, boat O, and O-W, bow O. So these are two ways to make that O sound, and I'm hoping they're familiar to you because we did them a lot when we were all together in class. This activity is going to be two different parts. So first is a sort. You have a word bank with a bunch of words that feature either O-A-O or O-W-O. So you'll look closely at each word and see which vowel team does it feature and then write it in the correct column. Does it have O-A or does it have O-W? You're looking at the words, you're reading the words, you're analyzing what letters you see there. Analyzing just means looking closely thinking a lot, looking closely. The next quick bit, there's gonna be a picture and then there's three word choices and you've gotta circle which word matches the picture. So in number one, I see a little boy blowing out candles and the word choices are blue, blue, or blow. Now, I'm thinking about those vowel teams that make the O sound. So I see an O-W for blow I'd circle that one because he's blowing out the candles and it has that vowel team. Awesome. Okay, now let's jump back into our RRW work. Today we're going to be thinking about the nation, which means country, of Canada. Here we go. All right, so get to the page that says day one content vocabulary. And I want to warn you, this activity seems really tricky at first, but it's not. Once we get set up, you're going to be fine. So hang in, hang in there with me, okay? All right, so they give you a whole bunch of boxes. Some of the boxes have the name of one of the Canadian provinces or territories. So like here we see Ontario. You might not have ever heard that before. That's okay. Ontario is a province in Canada. So some of the cards are going to have names of places from Canada. Some of the cards are going to tell you characteristics of those places. They might have a picture on them. So here, the one with characteristics says an open space where animals are able to roam free. So some of them are going to describe what these places are like. Some of them are just going to have a random word on them. So here it says three musketeers and it tells us that kind of word is a noun. So this probably all seems kind of crazy to you right now, but it's going to make sense. Your first job, just cut out all those boxes and then mix them up into a little pile. So cut out all the boxes and mix them up. Right now they're in a totally funky random order. So don't, don't worry about which ones go in what row right now. Just cut them up, put them in a pile, Mix them up, then we'll get going. Fabulous. Okay, now we're going to play a little game. So you're going to take your one big pile and you're going to turn it into three smaller piles. In one of the piles, I want you to put all the words that are a province or a territory. So the words that are the names of a place in Canada. Put all of those ones together. Doesn't matter in what order. Then I want you to put all the cards that have the characteristics on them together. These are the ones that have the picture on them. That's a little clue. So put all the characteristic cards together in your second pile 
and then, you guessed it, you're going to put all those random vocabulary words together in a third pile. Again, doesn't matter the order, but we want three piles, one for the place names, one for the characteristics to describe, and one for the new vocabulary words. So go ahead and do that. Then you'll probably notice there's this blank chart. Don't worry about it yet. We are coming back to that in a few minutes. So skip this part. But then I want you to flip ahead a couple pages to find this poem. It's called Together We Are Canada. And this is actually in the day two section. So go ahead and find this poem, Together We Are Canada. Here's how this is going to work. We're going to read this kind of long poem together. It's going to teach us a lot about Canada. So first we're going to read through the poem. Then we're going to use what we learn in the poem to help us sort those cards that we just cut out. So we're going to get the information we need from the poem. That means we're probably going to have to read it a couple times. So let's read it once together. Then you're going to read it on your own. And then we're going to do some sorting of our new knowledge. Together We Are Canada by Leanne Gunther. My name is British Columbia, the jewel of the West Coast. Forestry and fishing are the things that I do most. Hi, I am Alberta, a wild west kind of place with cows and oil and mountains and lots of open space. I am Manitoba and I'm Saskatchewan. We're the golden prairies where fields of wheat grow in the sun. Hi, I am Ontario, the home of government. To me, each year the leaders of our democracy are sent. Bonjour, I am Quebec. Here, French is my language too. When I want to ask how are you, I say, comment allez-vous? Newfoundland, New Brunswick, and Nova Scotia, those are we. We are all Atlantic provinces, the three musketeers of the sea. I'm Prince Edward Island, and I know I may be small, but without me, all the rest of you would have no potatoes at all. The Yukon, Nunavut, and Northwest territories are up north. Through ice and cold and polar bears, few brave souls venture forth. Together we are Canada, one nation strong and free. With sharing friends and happiness, forever we will be. Cool. Okay, if you want to listen to the poem again, rewind. That is totally fine. Now I want you to read this tricky poem to yourself twice. There's a lot of tough words in there. Read your syllable chunks, do your best. Think of how you heard me say some of those words. But I want you to go ahead and read it twice because the more familiar you are with the poem, the easier our next part, the sort, will be. Now that you've studied the poem at least three times, let's get sorting. So first, I want you to go through all of your province cards that are in your province category or pile with the name of the places and let's get those glued or placed in that column that says province slash territory. So you want to get all of those places in a straight line down in that column. Then this is where it gets exciting and juicy. Now I want you to go through your pile of cards that have the characteristics and the pictures and using the poem, I want you to match the characteristics with the province that it's describing. So you're going to have to go back into the poem and for each province, find the characteristics to tell us what it's like there. And that has a picture that shows us what it looks like. That might take a minute, so be extra thoughtful while you do that. Then last but not least, once you've got your provinces and your characteristics matched, I want you to take that last pile of the new vocabulary words and I want you to put them in the row with the province that they're talking about. 
So you can go back into each chunk of the poem and find, ooh, where did this word show up? And then you want to make sure you match it with the province that that chunk of the poem, the stanza, you want to match the word with the part of the poem you found it in. All right. There's a lot of thinking work involved in this activity, but if you use the poem as your guide, you've totally got this. Okay? So you're going to get those sorted. If you have glue and you want to glue them down, love it. If you don't have glue, no big deal. Like, I don't have glue at my house right now, so I'm not going to glue them. But if you want to um, or you can, that would be awesome. And then tomorrow, we will check our answers together so that you can see um, how you did because we want to make sure that we understand each province of Canada and what it's like there. So awesome job. You're all set for today. Um, let me know if you have any questions or you need any help. Try your best. If you make a mistake, we'll fix it. Um, but I'm really, really, really proud of you for trying. Okay. Love you. Miss you. Have fun with your work. Talk to you soon. Bye.